Good evening folks. Today I'm going to show you how to mount your guitar on the wall like this. This is for an acoustic guitar. I have made another video for an electric guitar if you want to check that out too. So I wanted my guitar mounted horizontally on the wall. You can buy mounts that will mount them horizontally. I, I'll post a link to one from Monoprice in the description to this video. But the thing I don't like about that is that it has hooks uh, that come around the front and it kind of detracts from the look of the guitar. Like this, you hardly see anything, any hardware that's holding it up. So it's more like a work of art on the wall and that's what I was looking for and it's easily removable. I'll show you how to take it off. Just push the bottom up and off and there you go and you can play it. So you see there's only two pieces. This is what piece is just a plain dowel, nothing really special about that. And this piece uh, hooks into the strap support on the bottom of the guitar. So now you know how it works, let me show you how I made it. There are a couple measurements that we need to take. The first one is the diameter of the strap support. So if we measure that, it's about 5 point, let's say 5, or 0.52. Uh, so it's just over half an inch. I'm just going to make things a little bit difficult, but uh, we can work around it. The other is just how far the strap support is from the base of the guitar. You'll see the guitar is off the table a little bit. That's because the back of the guitar is bowed a little bit. And so we want to include that gap so that we know it's not going to be touching the wall when we put it on the wall. And in fact, we'll put a little bit extra on so there's some space, maybe a, something like a eighth of an inch or so. So that gives us about 2.7 inches. The other measurement is how thick the guitar is at this point at the cutout. So we're looking at about four and a quarter-ish we can make that four and three quarters maybe, might be too much, but thereabouts. So these are the pieces of wood that I'm going to use. This is a piece of pine. I took off a, uh, a solid wood door that uh, we had hung. We had to trim off some of the bottom. Um, so I just cut this from the scrap that we cut off of the bottom of the door. Um, I decided to use pine because it sort of matches the, the wood of uh, the, the top of my guitar. And this is just a wood dowel I got at the store. I didn't have much choice on what kind of wood, um, not at least not at the store that I shopped at, and I didn't really care too much. So I've already cut this to size. It's four and three quarter inches. I'm going to be rounding the end of it just to make it look pretty. And this piece, we're going to have to mark off where we're going to put the support for the strap support. So this is the measurement that I took from the guitar. So this is the distance from the wall that the strap support needs to be. So I'm going to transfer this onto here. So it'll be right about there. And We'll try to make it so it falls kind of in the middle of it. Something like that. You'll see that there isn't much space between where I marked and the edge of the block. That turned out to be a bit of a mistake. About a week after I had mounted it, a child had uh, decided to uh, take my guitar off the wall and they pulled straight out instead of pushing up and that piece uh, snapped right off. So don't make that mistake, make your piece of wood longer, especially if you're using a soft wood like I am. So I'll make this cut on my router. It'll be a cut kind of like this, so the strap support can slide into it. But if you don't have a router, I'll show you how to do it uh, with just a drill as well. And then I'm also going to round this side off just to make it look prettier. So I'll go do that and we'll see how it turns out. Now just a word of warning here, make sure you're cutting on the right side and what I mean by that is if your piece of wood is going to be on the wall like this, 
with your guitar coming off to the right, which would be the case if you have a right-handed guitar, then you need to cut from this side. See where I marked? Don't cut from this side, or else you'll have a new scrap piece of wood. This happened to me, and this is my new piece of wood. So just make sure you have that clear. So here I am at my router. I have uh, the mark. I transferred the mark onto the side so I can see where I'm uh, see so I can see the mark when I'm cutting. I'm using a half inch dovetail bit here. Half inch isn't going to be quite enough, so I'm going to make two passes. I'll make one, and then I'm going to move my fence maybe about a sixteenth of an inch, and then make another pass. You'll see these two marks here on my fence. This is going to tell me how far to go. I want my I want to cut in a little more than halfway into my wood. So that's where I'm starting, and then I'm going to keep going until I reach that mark. Now what if you don't have a router? If you're making stuff yourself like this and you're not buying a pre-made thing, then you may not have a router. So let's say you only have a drill. Well, you can still make a notch for that your guitar can slide into. Um, I did it with two drill bits. I just did it in a 2x4 to show you. So uh, I started out with one of these. They have a nice point on the end. Uh, so it won't um, jog around on you when you're drilling. But, but the biggest I have in this is 3 8 So I started with the 3 8 and then I moved up to half inch. And this one's a half inch. So I'll show you how I did it. Uh, I made holes in this side just to show you. So this one here is uh, 3 8 It's about 1 8 of an inch from the edge. And then I drilled that out with a half inch and that brings you to about a 1 16th and uh, I don't know if you can actually see it in the video but I mean you can move this edge around like it's really thin but you don't want to break right through you do want to leave a little bit there and then I used an exacto knife to cut it out and that's what the finished edge looks like uh, just make sure it's deep enough that the uh, strap support can slide into completely and it's you know deeper than the edge of the wood, uh, but not too far. But that does fit over the uh, guitar uh, strap support quite nicely. So here's my test fit. You can see it fits really nicely. There is extra room at the bottom so it won't be touching the wall. Now when I first put this on it was really 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 snug, but uh, it's pine so it's a soft wood and I just forced it on and um, the, the wood will move a little bit. It's still a bit snug, so what I might do is take a file to where the biggest part of the strap support goes in, uh, just to make it a little bit looser. I don't want to make another pass on the router though, because I don't want to make the opening any bigger. So these are the finished pieces now. I put some polyurethane on them. I have dowel rods in both ends. I actually put the dowel rods in first so that I had something to hold on to while I was finishing up the wood. That's quite helpful. So we'll be able to get uh, going installing these. One thing to note is that because I'm using a dowel rod here, I did that just so that I don't have to bother with any exposed screws but it might be a little tricky to install because this notch has to be facing up. So when I screw all this all the way into the wall, once it hits the wall, I have to make sure that this is up. So I might have to pull it back out, undo this a little bit, and put it back in, um, but we'll see how it goes. So this is the wall that I'm going to put it on. I'm going to be aiming for studs, well, that's only because I hate dealing with drywall anchors. But be sure that drywall anchors are going to hold your guitar. Acoustic guitars are super light, so you don't have to worry about that. So I've already marked out where the studs are. One here, one here. I marked out where I want the bottom piece to go in. So I just need to drill that out and screw it in. And then fit the guitar and pinpoint the other spot. So let's get started. So I took the dowel screw out. And with some vice grips, I'm going to put this in first, halfway and then I'll screw my wood piece on.
Now, one thing I did forget to do is make sure that I've drilled my hole perpendicular to the wall. So this is angled down a bit. I'm going to have to see if I can kind of push it up to get it straight, which I can a little bit. Then we'll put the other piece on. And just as I thought, I'm going to have to screw it in a little bit more so that my wood is in the right position when it hits the wall. So I finally got it in. It took a little while to get it in the right place by the time it got into the wall. But what ended up working for me eventually was when I'd screw it into the wall and it was in a different position, like facing this way, I would just back it out a bit enough to get uh, vice grips in behind it and grab the dowel screw and turn it a quarter turn, go back in, see where it's at. If it was off again, back it out, do it again until it's in the right spot. And now it is. So let's move on. So now that we got that piece in, we can put the guitar on and then mark where we're going to put in the other dowel. So I'll kind of figure out the angle, exact angle you want it at. And then just put a mark. And this one's going to be a whole lot more straightforward because it's just drill the hole, screw it in until it hits the wall. No positioning necessary. So now that our hardware is on the wall, we can mount it. So I'll show you how to do that. The bottom side goes on first. Just line up the strap support where it needs to go. Give it a good push down. And this side just sits on there. So there you go, folks. It looks like a work of art on the wall. It looks pretty. And best of all, it's easily removable so you can play it whenever you want. So guys, if you like this, make sure you subscribe and uh, look for my other videos coming up.